Tony Joe's House of Great Eats, Bucktown, PA, Buck with a B. Tony Joe's, I can't say enough good things about Tony Joe's. The cheesesteak, you'll see in a minute, speaks for itself. I love the decor. I love the servers. I think I've been to Tony Joe's three times and uh, every server has been nicer than the last. Anthony made it to the final round in last year's March Cheesesteak Madness. And Anthony's bringing it again. Anthony will be your fiercest competitor, but he'll, he'll give you the shirt off his back while he's trying to beat you at whatever competition you're doing. Tony Joe's. March Cheesesteak Madness continues. Bucktown with a B. Bucktown. Tony Joe's House of Great Eats. I guess you can't see that. Ah, it's over there, trust me. Mike and Gracia. <laughs> Staring down this big boy, Tony Joe's. House of Great Eats. It's like a, it's like a, a work of art. Oh my goodness, I just did my best photography ever. Go ahead, big boy, what are you thinking? Oh, uh, poor. What's going through your mind right now? Four, two, six later. <laughs> this thing looks awesome. It's overflowing. Oh man, it's just exciting. Got um, overflowing with, with a really nicely cooked steak here. Lots of lots of onions, uh, fresh mushrooms. Looks like it's seasoned beautifully. Yeah, a lot of cheese in there. Yeah. I can't wait. <laughs> Look like the lunar. This is like the lunar landing. Mm. It's overflowing, man. It's so good. Look at that. Like, are you kidding me right now? That is so nice and fresh and juicy. And the mushrooms are so well represented. They spent some time on the grill to know each other. Mm -hmm. Like, everybody's playing nice on that cheese steak. I'm getting it in every bite. I'm getting everything that we ordered. And it is, it's really good. that's coming out of that fresh cooked steak it's holding up man i mean it's not busting apart at all on me i'm shocked yeah absolutely shocked. yeah and this is this is busting the seams but this roll is holding up it's um, busting the seam with the moisture yeah i mean it's it's doing its job absolutely yeah so you're still happy with it absolutely i mean i would recommend this a thousand times over well done mushrooms every bite everybody's playing flavors melted nicely every bite Everything is well represented in every bite. Steak is seasoned awesomely. Nice and tender. Obviously juicy. Uh, a lot of cheese. Really good. Ron's Original Bar and Grill. Lionsville, PA. Way up there. Route 100 in the Turnpike. This is a good stop. This, you know, a lot of times you're like, ah, well, you know, this is a good bar cheesesteak or this is a good pizza shop cheesesteak, good restaurant cheesesteak. Ron's is a bar and a grill, and we took this one to go. So this cheesesteak would have been good sitting at Ron's bar. This cheesesteak would have been good sitting in Ron's restaurant. And this cheesesteak was good taking it to go. Ron's original. Doing the cheesesteak proud. March Cheesesteak Madness. Lionsville. Am I in Lionsville? Ron's. Ron's original bar and grill. Alright, Ron's. This thing, this thing is gushing with mushrooms. Those are some good looking mushrooms. Yeah, they are. Nice I'm and not fresh. I don't have any special mushroom knowledge, but those are good looking mushrooms. It looks awfully good, man. The, uh, looks like there's some onions in there little bits and I see some pinkish meat which you never get and I'm loving that so let's get in there mm -hmm. steak is super juicy a lot of cheese the cheese is flowing out of it roll is uh, is taken a beaten but other than that man this is a solid solid sandwich going on here oh, 
I like that. I like the cut of beef. I love all of that stuff going on in there. Look at all that cheese. I mean, if you're a cheese guy, you got to be loving that. Look at that. Mushrooms, onions everywhere. The only thing that's that's holding it back from being upper tier is the roll, I think. It's a surprising too, right? I mean, it's not like it, it's not it's the roll itself, not the fact that the roll has been wrapped up a little bit. It's just that it's the roll. Though. It's just the roll. That's it. But nice sandwich, man. I, I overflowing. I mean, it's overflowing with stuff. And the mushrooms put some time on the grill with the onions. Yeah, absolutely. It's integrated very nicely, and I love that steak. The steak is outstanding. It's cooked right. There's nothing wrong going on with that meat at all, or the cheese, or the extras. All good stuff. All right, March cheese steak madness round two, and we've got bronze against Tony Joe's. Very highly, highly contested contest here. And again, these guys are gonna be tough to beat. I'd like to say they're a dark horse, but they're not because they made some noise last year. And uh, sorry, Rons, but Tony Joe's takes this round. It's fair to say that maybe uh, mushrooms in every bite. They both had great mushrooms. I love the mushrooms a lot. The mushrooms were well represented in both of uh, the cheesesteaks, but Tony Joe's, I mean, it, it was it was overflowing. It was in your face. I mean, it, it was, almost came together like an au jus, like a fine steak. It was so delicious. And the juice. Tommy Joe's is a juicy cheesesteak, but not a wet juice. Not a, it was, not it was very juicy. Corp. No, it didn't destroy the core police roll at all. The core police held up fine. And uh, we both mentioned it. Despite all of that juiciness from the steak, from the onions, from the, uh, the mushrooms, and that mushroom just ran together real nicely throughout the steak. And that roll held up beautifully. Didn't fall apart at all. It was great. Close matchup. I mean, a little, a little bit of roll edge, and then a little, a little bit of mushroom edge, and a little, it comes out to a little bit of edge at this point. That's it. It was a it was a, a, a fine edge, but Tony Joe's takes it.